tours you have ever played. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, I would love to continue practicing and, and rise up the ranks and become one of those feared mm -hmm. O-Tours, but <laughs> hey, it's still been pretty fun just getting the hang of the game and also playing so many different characters. Who, who did I play? So I played a fox today for the first time. Ooh. Like, like in, you know, offline, like mm -hmm. not an elite smash experience. And I was just like, how the heck do I DI these freaking, I, I'm getting hit by up tilt into freaking everything <laughs> but speaking of strong and terrifying players we have yeah. j crew coming in versus dill here in the second half of bracket we are into winners quarters now yeah absolutely so j crew earlier did a little you know possum play playing min min to start and then going straight to the steve and the steve was looking super polished uh in their first match i think they played devon earlier yeah and it was actually sort of the opposite story against uh dark blue starting the steve and then swapping out to min min when he inevitably got counterpicked to fd gotcha gotcha so we're gonna see how things start out here already starting with the steve here against the rob obviously you know steve's got some great combo game potential against you know these big body characters like Rob already diamond online. Gonna see if J Crew is gonna find an opportunity to cash that out and start building. Yeah, definitely looking to find those iconic materials, and we have diamond on deck already. So, yep, setting up the blocks for the uh, safe crafting table, and now diamond is online. Gonna see if J Crew can be looking for a stock soon. Getting Dill. Off stage, Dill is going to be going high, not wanting to deal with any sort of Steve ledge trapping at all. And honestly, I respect it. Yeah. If you if you've got the distance, go for it. Because I mean, Steve doesn't really have any sort of burst movement vertical wise. Mm. You know, he's got fantastic ledge trapping, especially with things like minecart or TNT. But I feel like Steve doesn't have much in the way of contesting uh, just really high recoveries like Rob can do. Right, yeah, definitely tough for Steve to get up there and try to contest it, but um, doing a good job here again. The anvil down air to kill, uh, you know, Jay getting it done right away, but Dill looking to respond. Correctly reading a mash, getting the yep. up tilt up air, and Dill firing right back, getting right back into this game. Robs are just so consistent at checking out what you're going to do on match, but then here comes Steve with the up tilts. Oh, wow, dang, 50, 68. This yep, sorry, you got, you got up tilted once. You're at 90 now. Yeah. That's uh, Steve gameplay, baby. For sure. Now at 100 off stage, J Crew does have gold online, which does uh, do less knockback and damage. So Dill not quite as uh, scared at ledge. <laughs> Gyro actually bailing Dill out of the uh, the minecart there. That was kind of funny. For sure. And gold, uh, oddly enough, though it has maybe that lesser knockback, but very quick. Oh like yeah, the, the fastest tool, right? Out of the uh, out of the however many five or four that Steve has. Yep, but you, we heard that noise again, which means Diamond it's is in the bank. Yep. So we're going to see Dill playing things very uh, patiently right now, but caught off guard by the minecart. I think Dill was probably looking for J Crew to start trying to set up Diamond and was just caught off guard by the option she wasn't expecting. All right, still able to get the up tilt into up air, but not high enough percentage for yeah. that to be killing. J Crew living a little bit longer, still has that diamond online. Dill has to be careful, or this could be another 70% combo. J Crew, def oh, just the raw up smash, but not getting it done quite yet. J Crew switching up the timing of his mash on that last burial that Rob did. As, as you can tell, you know, uh, Dill still got the follow up, but it was interesting to see that J Crew was trying to adapt in that moment. But it's still hard to figure out what you're going to do out of that position. Yep. Oh, gets caught by the up tilt. Yeah. Only 37%. That's, you know. <laughs> That's getting away pretty easy yeah. from uh, Steve Diamond up tilts. Absolutely. Actually using the block to refresh her jump on the way back down. Great awareness by Dill. You know, sometimes you got to use Steve's blocks against him. For sure. Right, forward air, putting J Crew back off stage. Nice gyro snipe. Looking for the second one. The rotor Just arms. barely yeah. able. You saw J Crew really trying to, to, yeah. to wait, wait it out. Yeah. And that is diamond offline for J Crew, and you can see the resource meter looking a little bit low. So this could be Dill's time to really press the advantage. Oof, almost getting the follow with the gyro, but Dill pushing the pressure, trying to bring this back. Yeah, and you can see they're playing around the crafting table right now, really trying to make sure that J Crew can't really get too comfortable with trying to farm more resources and right. get better, better weapons. Yeah, absolutely. 
And I feel like that's what Dill was trying to do around stock two, which is really play around these, uh, like the crafting table especially. And yeah. you saw Dill using that Nair to just shred through the block walls. Rob Nair, yeah. one of the better, one of the better moves to really deal with Steve camping. Yeah, I was gonna say, which out of Rob's tools is the best to contest against the blocks? And it seems like Nair is definitely, obviously, a great move all in all. All right, we have J. Crew trying to find their opening here, staying in the middle, looking for back air. But speaking of back airs, oh my god, that back air hit, and then something <laughs> just hit. exploded in the casting booth back here. Or was that just your water ball? Okay. Uh, no, that was, so, that <laughs> oh, okay. was something. That... So that was me. Oh, okay. It. John. What happened surprised me so on? hard I actually flinched and <laughs> kicked something over. Rob back air surprising you? The way it the way it made contact. We'll get uh, there. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. We'll get there. There we go. Dill getting the follow up there my, from the burial. My leg jerked and I just kicked the fuck out of Devin's <laughs> chair. It sounded like it. It was an aggressive sound. But there's J Crew getting it done with the mine cart. But interesting first game. Uh, J Crew really had a good amount of control to start out the match, and then Dill catching this recovery here with the rotor arms. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. All good. It actually yeah, made for, for better. It was oh, great. Look at that. Yeah, it made for better emphasis on the kill screen for sure. It's like you, you felt that in your chest. <laughs> so I do want to speak up about this matchup because there was yeah. something I wanted to say between the games and not interrupt your commentary. No worries. I've long been a man of saying, oh, if you have good mashing, you can always get a Rob's down throw, right? Like, mm -hmm. even if you're at like 140, 150, I've shown a video on it. You've all seen me get out of it. Dill never down throws me. Yeah. Steve is a special exception to all this. When Steve jumps out, um, when you jump out of Barry, you jump out with your with your normal jump height. So even if Steve has the best mash ever, he's still in range. Mm, right. Huh. Interesting. He has one of the shorter uh, yeah. initial yeah. jumps, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I get you. So I he just you. like hops out like two inches, and then Rob's just like, oh, yeah. get hit anyway, idiot. Yep, yep, totally. So yeah, I wanted to mention that. No, oh, I appreciate it. Oh, we see J. Crew playing his his funny Joker's trick again. Like, oh, counter pick me to FD. I'll I'll be in a bad matchup. Smile, and then getting to play Min Min, the the same the same sort of trick that we saw against Dark Blues earlier on stream. And we can already see the Min Min on FD really working out for J. Crew. Already getting Dill to 106 percent, working on the stock with the Mega Wop, but not quite finding it just yet. Still not finding it, Rob. You know, heavy boy, it's, uh, he's made of iron. Yeah, for sure. And one thing that I found interesting in J. Crew's earlier games is their utilage of uh, Ram Ram, or I'm sorry, not Ram Ram, the Mega Watt and the, the Dragon Heads, you know? Primarily just sticks on those two. You'll very rarely see him use uh, the or the uh, the other one, the circle one. What's the name of the circle one? I, I think that's Ram Ram. Ram Ram, sorry, yeah. But Dill had going out there and getting the rotor arm kill. Yeah, no, you really do not want to give Min Min a chance to recover if yeah. you can. You know, only having the option of the tether recovery mm -hmm. makes it pretty, uh, pretty vulnerable. And Dill is going to be absolutely looking for edge guards in this matchup. But first, has to get J Crew off stage, and this yeah. neutral is just rough right now. Yeah, being. Extremely contested between the two of them, but Rob just looking to trying to see if they could get J Crew out to the to the ledge, but let's see what happens here. Yeah, Ooh, we're just kind of swinging and whipping yeah, all just, over. They're just throwing aerials, trying to see who gets to the ledge first. Yeah, and J Crew, you know, showing off the up smash, which has the reflector property, right. which is gonna be huge in this matchup. You would think, you know, FD against a character like Min Min, who wants a very specific range, Dill can try and zone out, but. J Crew ready for it and also getting the second stock now. That did 30 damage. Crazy. That's silly. Speaking of range, Min Min's range is uh, yeah. unbelievable. The fact that that F smash killed from pretty much the end of the other side of the stage was pretty gnarly. Mm -hmm. But here comes Dill trying to get this second stock of J Crew's off. Ooh. Let's see if we can do something here. Another one? Oh! What that up smash didn't connect. I love the idea though. That was that was really cool. Yeah, stage. Dill really had it. Oh, again. And another <laughs> one just barely not able to get these up smashes and the percent is racking up on Dill. Already 65% and climbing. Oh, right, man, Dragon getting Dill back off stage. J Crew caught unawares by the the slowest long range gyro in the world. Yeah. But 
yeah, once again, the Reflector. You would think, you know, a character who can play at such a wide variety of ranges, like Rob, mm -hmm. would really favor FD, but not with a Reflector like that. And the another, I think that was another up smash coming out from J. Crew, taking a convincing game, too. Yeah, the Min Min swap seemed to be what the doctor ordered. Really interesting to see how easily J. Crew, J. Crew can switch between the two characters. And honestly, in the current state of the meta, super valuable to have that, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. But there we go. The Ram Ram getting two of the three stocks here in this match. Yeah, I, I will say I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually see if they discussed it or not. I know uh, Zeno is supposed to be, you know, character first, then stage, stage select, uh -huh. which has been sort of a. It's not Zeno. That's how it's supposed to be everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Okay. I know that's but been sort of a point of contention as of late. Game came, fucking new game came out and everyone forgot how <laughs> the, how the how the rules work. Yeah. I, 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 uh, the, <laughs> but they changed the order of the menus. True, true. J Crew sticking with the Min Min here. Yep, and we did see Dill counterpicking to a uh, battlefield. So okay, kind of the polar opposite. Dill's gonna have a lot more room to run around and really avoid the the horizontal range of the Min Min. Yeah, absolutely. Now, as far as the matchup between Rob and Min Min, is Min Min one of Rob's toughest matchups, or not so much? I know Game & Watch is like horrendous for Rob, yeah. right? But as far as Min Min Rob, it seems like Rob has all the abilities to contest this range by just like jumping over everything. But what do you think? I mean, you know, we've talked before about how Rob has definitely not one of the greatest disadvantages in the business and Min Min has a fantastic advantage. Right. But it this this matchup feels probably a lot more uh, stage dependent as we yeah. saw like especially on FD. Right. Just Rob has nowhere to go, yeah. Yeah. Min Min just got to play play whatever he wanted to. Yeah, super interesting. Well but, one thing too, like you were saying earlier, Rob going out oh there deep God. to figure uh, to catch the uh, the tether recovery, but J. Crew really putting on the onslaught here, getting the kill. Yep, another megawatt. You know, the, the reflector really kind of, once again, instilling the idea in Dill that she cannot play outside of the range of the arms like you would right. want to. Right, right. So it becomes kind of this, this issue of like, oh, well, I have to get in on the Min Min right now so I can start, you know, putting on pressure, getting him off stage, but I'm Rob. I'm huge. <laughs> Good roll read there by Dill, confirming the up tilt into the up air. Yep, Dill keeping things competitive, only 42% extra credit, but the Ram Ram keeping on the pressure at ledge here. J Crew keeping tricky. Hey, Shiny Pants, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Oh, let's see if Rob could catch this tether. Ooh, okay. Yeah, using the oh. inside of the battlefield, but finally what? that time getting the gyro into arm rotor instead of going for up smash that time and working out wonderfully for Dill. Dill now getting to play this matchup with a stock lead. Yeah. That was beautiful, especially in a tight game three situation. To have the uh, upper hand right now is going to go a long way. So let's see if Dill could continue to rack up some of the damage. Yep, and going high. Oh! It's Just risky. Barely able to live that. Yeah. Trying to keep the air dodge ambiguous on the top platform, but J. Crew is still able to catch it. Where did that gyro come from? Uh, that like <laughs> tripped me up. I was like, what? Oh. That was the gyro from the heavens. It's for real. Megawatt there getting it done again. Oh, the raw rotor arm. Yeah. Right. Dill Dill likes to do that. Like I have invincibility frames. I'm coming down an arm rotor. Yeah. And very dead. As soon as J. Crew got hit by that arm rotor, he was put in a terrible situation. And the second arm rotor really sealed the deal. Yeah, absolutely. And and what a great run thus far from J. Crew. Uh, definitely an uh, unfamiliar face for me. I haven't mm -hmm. seen them here before. Not sure about you. Have you seen J. Crew uh, play before? Not someone I I've seen on stream very often, I don't think. Yeah. So, but making it all the yeah, way to no, I mean, they were seat, uh, he was seated 10th, so oh, okay. definitely. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Dar? Hey, what's Thanks going on? Subscription. Oh, yeah. What did that say? 43 months? Yeah. Dang. Appreciate you, Dara. Uh, anyway, we are going to tell you about some great stuff we have coming up. So why don't we go ahead and jump into... Oops.